I was told that it was going to be raining and cold. I am not wearing a jacket. <laughs> so I'm back to my old primary school where I went to school at uh, Gaindaidia Primary School in uh, Nyandarwa County. Delighted that Safaricom Foundation has uh, partnered with the school to refurbish classrooms that were outdated, equipment that were outdated. We've done washroom and abrasion blocks, which is very important. So starting to re-establish my bearing, <laughs> came through the places that I used to visit when I was young. So much has changed, but uh, the more that has changed, the more it remains the same. So I can see this, uh, familiar territory, I can see the classrooms that we used to, to go into. They look much older than when we were here. I can see the fields we used to, to run, and I can see the verandas that we used to run when we were young. I was just telling the story of one time I was running and uh, I got hit on my head. That's why I have a scar. Uh, so this school has, will always be in my mind because of, uh, because of that scar. The home is always great. It is always uh, fantastic to feel a sense of belonging. At the time I came to, uh, to Gaidavia, Nyandaro used to lead. Nyandaro was always number one. So it was not unusual to see ordinary schools producing great grades. But certainly from this school, I was one of the first to uh, go to schools like Starehe, which is where I, I, I went to high school. We used to walk to school, so there wasn't much drama in terms of uh, getting to school. I remember there was a, a shortcut which was meant for teachers. When the teachers were not around, we would sneak in and use the, the shortcut. That was interesting. In terms of subjects, uh, maths was probably the, the subject that I, I enjoyed most. In fact, I remember that uh, all my relatives, my aunties and cousins were telling me to become a teacher, which I told them I won't, <laughs> I won't become a teacher. I know they have built new washrooms here, or at least refurbished. Those who are there, from, um, I think the trees were, have probably has, have grown a bit more, but the thing is, it's, it's the same. The grass was probably a lot better <laughs> kept. <laughs> you know, when I look at my son, and, and he, he basically doesn't do very much uh, in terms of the house. But those days, we grew up knowing you have to help at home. We are the ones who would make ourselves breakfast and so on. And then you'd have uh, lunch, of course, in school and so on and so forth, and then go back and milk, depending on your age. I don't have very negative experiences when I was young. It was very, very humble upbringing, very little kind of luxury. Chapati is probably that's why I like them. They were probably um, delicacy. Potatoes were everywhere. That's why I don't eat pot much potato. <laughs> Even my wife knows I don't eat much potato. Nothing really has changed. It's the same field people, I mean, kids used to, we used to play. This site used to be primarily the higher primary, mid to high, and then the other side was the lower. Because I still remember the very first class we had was one of the ones at the very end on this side, because there was a, an admin block that was not very good, but it was, <laughs> there was an admin block there. I think that's the one they destroyed uh, and re rebuilt. But the classrooms were generally in reasonable shape. One of the things that, if I recall, that was uh, interesting was you expect guidance to start when you are much older and uh, when you're in uh, high school and university and all that. But actually the guidance in, in this school was fantastic. And that's why I've always been rooted, you know. Never want success to get into my head. I remember the um, teachers telling us, regardless of who you are, always be yourself, always know where you come from.